There are so many ways to pass funded accounts and I know that there are dozens if not hundreds of videos out there on YouTube teaching you how to pass a funded account easily. Well, in this specific video, I'm gonna teach you the way I'm doing it and the way I actually found to be the easiest one. And I'm not saying the easiest one because I don't know, because everybody can do it with no effort whatsoever, no. What I'm saying is, I actually tested many ways to pass a funded account, and I found this to be the easiest method to use in order to actually pass those challenges. So this is what I'm about to teach you right now. Hi everyone, Christian here on YouTube. Welcome to a brand new video for the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to pass a funded account challenge in less than 30 minutes. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into Forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so first things first, what is a funded account? Like, like, okay, Chris, what is a funded account? Well, they're actually also known as prop firms, and they're basically companies that look for good traders that they can prove that they're good traders, pass some evaluations, some challenges, and when they're actually proven to be good, they're actually able to withdraw the earnings from those funded accounts that the company gives you. For instance, I actually want to pass a challenge for a $100,000 account. So basically I place a few trades. I try, I test it. I hit the targets, which is usually 10% profits. And then when I hit the 10% profits, then the company is like, okay, you're a good trader. So here's another $100,000 account, but with real money. So if you make, let's say $10,000 one more time, then you can withdraw the money. And most of these companies actually will keep the 10% or 20% of profits and you get the 80 or 90% of profits, which means out of the $10,000, you can get 8,000 or $9,000 depending on the company that you're working with. And they keep the rest of the money for their profits. Pretty cool, right? So it's basically a company that allows you to trade with their money so that you don't have to invest your own money as well. That's basically what a funded company is. And it's actually quite cool because you don't have to trade with the real money. And especially because you can actually buy accounts for up to $250,000 and spend I mean, not everybody has the $250,000 to put into a broker and make money. So you actually can use that leverage or you can leverage from their money to make bigger amounts of money. So that's basically what an, uh, a funded company is. Now, what are the best companies out there for uh, funded accounts or prop firms? Well, the number one by far right now is actually this one right here called X uh, Trader Funding. I'm having the link to both of the companies below in the description of this video, but this one right here, I do have a 20% off if you use the promo code BLW, just like the YouTube channel name. And what's the coolest thing in regards to this specific trader uh, tra funded trading company is that they have three ways to actually use funded accounts. Number one is the regular one, one or two steps. The second one is the double X, which is basically uh, a funded account where you get a, a second opportunity to trade again, which means if you don't pass the challenge, all other companies will actually ask you to buy a new account, but this one right here will give you a second chance to, to try to pass the challenge, which is actually quite cool. And the coolest of all is this one, which is called Funded X. Basically, this one doesn't have any challenge. Day number one, you start trading, then you actually get to uh, withdraw your money because it's an actual real funded account with no challenges at all. So I recommend you to check all the three of them and more importantly, check like the percentages, the challenges and stuff like that in order to make an informed decision. And the second best company out there is FTMO. FTMO has pretty much all the same features that every other funded account company, but the only difference is that is 100% trusted. They do uh, send the payouts away and uh, more importantly, you can trust the company that it's been in the market for almost 10 years now and that they have hundreds, if not thousands of traders in the world getting their payouts, getting their withdrawals into their accounts instead of, you know, some shady companies out there that don't, they just don't pay. 
right? So like I said, I have the link to both of these companies below in the description of this video for you to check them out. Now let's go ahead and talk about this strategy that I personally use. Number one thing I wanted to share with you is that this strategy right here is 50% win rate is this is my account, the real numbers, 50% win rate. What does that tell you? That tells you that one out of two trades, you're going to lose them. Bottom line, you're just going to lose them. But this is the most important thing about this strategy, the profit factor. What is the profit factor basically means from every trade you lose, you lose one. But when you win a trade, you win it, me as an average, 1.41. That gives you an edge to be profitable. Okay. That's the first thing that I wanted to explain that, but we're going to receive, we're going to review like my results overall in just, uh, a little bit. Now, super important in regards to this strategy, if this is a support and resistance strategy, but following a trend and following retractions, which means every trade, every asset does this all the time, right? This is a support. This is a resistance. When the resistance gets broken, this becomes a support. A new resistance was formed. And when the resistance was broken, it becomes a new support. So what I do is that I enter on those retractions continuing with the trend. What I mean is that I'm not going to enter a sell position here because it's an up trend. So what I do is that I actually enter these retractions, which literally are right here and here and make money out of it. Okay. I'm looking at one minute candlesticks right here, but it does work with 50 minute candlesticks, one hour and four hour candlesticks. Obviously the longer the time frame, the longer the trades are going to be activated. Now, this is something that actually happened, uh, what June the 25th, cause I've had this funded account for two, three weeks right now. Take a look. This is a sell position. Really good. This was activated too. Uh, in fact, you know what, let me just go ahead and switch it to 15 minutes because otherwise we kind of miss a lot of information. All right, there you go. Perfect. So take a look at the actual entry here. Then another one that literally just touched and retracted this one. We lost it, but we can win them all. Right. And this is another win. And what's the criteria I'm actually following for the specific strategy. Well, I'm using my RSI indicator and the period of 14. What's really important to understand in regards to the RSI is that it's got three levels, the 70, the 50 and the 30, the 70 is the highest, the 50 is the middle and the 30 is the lowest. I go with the 50 level. Why? Because most of the times, whenever there is an uptrend, you're going to realize that the RSI is always going to be above the 50 level is going to touch a few times then it's going to stay above and then boom, whenever is a downtrend, the same moving average is stays below the 50 level. When it touches, it retracts it. when it touches, it retracts it. So I always go with these type of entries simply because it works. This is an uptrend for instance, right here, this is an uptrend. And what happened here is that it literally in this part right here, it almost touched the 50 RSI level. So why did I enter? Because it was retracting a little bit. Plus there was a support level in this area. So I decided to enter. This is a new example right here. I enter in this level because the price on the RSI was completely overbought or crossing the 50 level. Plus it was a downtrend. It was a perfect entry, right? And if we go to the next one, guess what? The RSI was actually in the 50 level and then boom, it happened. There was a retraction and everything went really, really good. Here I enter. I think this was one hour candlesticks. I'm not sure. Let me check on the one that I lost. Yeah. In one hour candlesticks, I actually saw that the price was literally right here. So I was like, okay, I can go ahead and enter based on the RSI. Unfortunately, I lost it. Probably entered too low because this would have been a good trade but we have to face our losses, right? And in addition, right here, I actually thought that the uh, trend was going to continue and it was my bad. I entered completely wrong on this one. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next uh, few trades. If you actually notice this one right here, like I said, boom, 
we enter, we want it. I think this one again is for 50 minutes. Let me recheck that out. And no, this is new. Yeah, this is the one. If we actually take a look at the, the RSI in this area, which is where I enter is below the 50 level. So I waited for the price to actually cross the 50 level and then I enter and it was a long position that ended up being a winner. I actually manually closed this one. So the setup looks better than the actual trade that I placed, but you get the idea. And we have a new example right here, right here. I actually placed my position when the RSI was being touched, but I did have a resist, a support level in this area that was even uh, like retested many times. And then boom, it went to this direction one more time. And this is the last one. I actually thought there was going to be a change on trending based on the drop that we were able to have today. And so I actually decided to enter in this point. I actually decided to enter in this point and I really made good profits towards this level, but then I didn't close my trade manually and boom, I don't usually protect my trades. I keep an eye on them and then close them manually, right? That's just the way I trade. But yeah, this is the idea of the strategy is actually quite simple, right? Now, uh, these are my results of the month. If you can actually see, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 days of trading. One day I didn't make any profits. One, two, three, four days I lost money. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days I've actually made money. Today was a very slow day. I only made $250. I had to go out of the house. First day I lost $529. Second day I made $1,800. Third day, I actually made $923 in loss. Then the fourth day, $4,000, it was the best day. Then we have 1.35 uh, on uh, the eighth. Then we lost 1.92. Then we made 5.76. I actually, I actually had to go out that day. I couldn't trade that much either. My worst day was for $2,700 right there on the 11th. Then I made $2,000 last Friday. Yesterday, Monday, I was able to make $1,140 and today $251. These are my overall results with this broker right here. I have an MT4 broker too. Uh, basically it was, uh, an account that it was uh, managed by some people of my team that didn't do that as good last month. So you can see that all of these trades are really bad. I, I actually grabbed the account right here. We were minus $2,000 in the target, which means that we were now we were like around $97,000 or something like that in um in, in in target because this is another funded account right so i had the day number one for 28 i had to be way more conservative with this account uh fight 67 on the second one then i didn't trade on thursday then on friday i lost the two days of work that i did right here because i lost one thousand dollars right there but then on monday this was uh monday but it turns out a sunday because i'm in the time zone it was still sunday when the market opened but on monday I made uh, this 1.7 plus the 700. So it was like $2,400 I recovered a lot. And today we made $11 because <laughs> uh, like I said, I had to go out of the house so I couldn't really like do much. But other than that, you can actually see that I'm in profits by using the exact same traits, right? Even if we actually go and check out right here, I've made a few mistakes by the way, with this, uh, account because I'm actually closing some trades with, uh, less profits than I should sometimes because I have to go out of the house and stuff like that. But you get the idea, 50% accuracy on this account with a specific strategy. Now, how can you make it simple, simple? I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly how to make it simple. Number one, this strategy works like a charm, at least a 50% accuracy, which as you can see is profitable, but how can we make it profitable? Go two to one on every single trade. Don't do more than that. What is it that I mean by it? If you're going to be enter, entering a position, a buy position here, and you decide that you want to have 15 pips in profits, then make no more. Do you see this little thing that says risk reward ratio here? No more than two. Hold on. 
right there, pretty much 2.05. Do those setups. It doesn't matter. If you enter right here, you see that you won this trade. It could have been a lot more, right? 466. Yeah, it can be a lot more. But hey, are you a beginner? And are you following instructions? Do you just want me to give you instructions? Fine. Two to one. Don't go more than that. If you go two to one on these uh, on this strategy, what's going to happen is that for every $100 that you lose, you, you're going to make 200 on the next trade. So that means that at the end of the day or at the end of the week or the month, you're going to make $1,000 in profits and you're going to lose $500. So that means that instead of losing money, you made $500, two to one. If you have a little bit more of expertise, try to go three, one, but no more than that. This strategy, yeah, it can give you one trade for 10 to one, 20 to one, but look, just try to be realistic. Okay. And try to understand that you can't just have a jackpot every on every trade. Just go two to one and you'll be good to go. You can see, I don't, I don't stress that much. I always uh, trade on the New York session and I trade like one, maybe two hours and that's it. Then I have the rest of the day for myself. So definitely go ahead and do that. If you want to make this strategy simple and here comes the secret ingredient for my success with this strategy. And that is the risk management. Look, we're talking about funded accounts here, right? If you actually get one of these, uh, single eggs for two steps, the target right here in step one is 8%. Thus, uh, daily stop loss or daily loss limit is 5%. And the max drawdown is 10%. If your risk 0.5% per trade per trade, that means that you have 10 trades to lose before you actually lose. That's in one day. That's uh, before losing your account. And you have 20 losing trades for the maximum drawdown that you can have. If you place one trade a day, that's two, that's four weeks. That's 20 days of trading. Okay. That's four weeks. However, I've seen people placing one two or even 3% in loss per trade. And that's the reason why they end up losing all of their money, burning their accounts. The secret ingredient is that 0.5%. It does not matter what your profit target is going to be two to one, three to one. It doesn't matter. It matters that you're giving yourself a limit of 20 trades in the entire challenge to actually lose money. If you can lower that to 0.40%, that gives you even more trades. So that's the secret to passing a funded account in an easy way. It doesn't matter if it takes you one or two months. What's important is that you didn't lose that funded account. So hopefully this secret helps you and let me know in the comments section, whether you agree or not. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. And more importantly, if you have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below and my team will be happy to reply to you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.